lovies, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my June favourites. Can you believe we're at the end of June? I really cannot believe we're at the end of June. This year has just gone ridiculously quick. But yeah, I will just get straight into it. Again, as always, very random June favourites, or favourites in general. Um, my monthly favourites usually tend to be quite random. But I will start with makeup, skincare, that sort of thing, and then move on to random. Okay. Okay, so the first thing is quite new into my life, and it's the Monu Spa range from Monu. It's the Rosewood Reviving Mist. I've been using this in the mornings before putting my moisturiser on and in the evenings after I've like cleansed my face sort of thing. And also throughout the day, um, I've just been finding, because everywhere's now got their aircon on, it's really, really dry everywhere and my skin has just been getting really, really dry. Um, and just spraying this over my makeup has made such a difference. Like around my nose, it tends to go a bit funny. Um, but I found sometimes if I spray this throughout the day, it doesn't do it, it keeps it nice and moisturised and um, stops my foundation from kind of drying out. So I've really, really been loving that. I actually got it in a beauty box, so it's only a small bottle but I think I will be purchasing the full size bottle when this runs out. It's got um, lemon, rosewood, sandalwood, petty grain and geranium in it and it smells really nice as well. I think it's the geranium that I can smell but yeah I love this. Sticking on the skincare kind of thing, this is something that I um, used to rave about when I first started YouTube and then I kind of stopped using it and now I have completely fallen back in love with it. It is the number seven beautiful skin, their hot cloth cleanser. Oh, it's wet because I've just taken it out of my bathroom and I'm dripping water all over myself. It's very, very similar, in fact, pretty much the same as the Liz Earl of Hot Cloth Cleanser. You use it in the same way, it does the same thing, but it's pretty much half price compared to that. So I use it to take off my makeup. Um, I use it twice, so I do it once to take off my makeup and then the second time to actually clean my skin because I just find if you just take your makeup off, it doesn't really clean your skin properly, so I do it twice. I don't use a muslin cloth, I do use a flannel um, just because I find it works better to remove my makeup but as you can see like I'm obsessed with this I think this is probably my fourth bottle of it maybe fifth bottle throughout my time of using it my love has been reborn for this beautiful beautiful product makeup wise I haven't really tried anything new the only thing I have been is an eyeshadow and it is an eyeshadow by Arbonne and it is in the color quartz I really need to get a palette because their things come in like separate bits but it's a dusty rosy browny pinky kind of color and I've just been using it every day it's kind of my all-over eyeshadow color for work because it's so quick and easy and it's just really really nice it stays on my eyesha eyeshadow it stays on my eyes all day, like it doesn't really rub off. Pigmentation is really, really good. Yeah, I've just been really, really enjoying this and reaching for this every single day. So, Arbonne eyeshadow in quartz. Okay, on to the randoms. So, I don't know if you know, but I have recently been trying to change my diet. And one thing that I have become obsessed with is almond milk. I've been having it in my porridge. I tried it before and I never really liked it, like a couple of years ago, and I didn't really like it. And then someone told me to try the unsweetened almond milk and it, I much prefer it, it's so much nicer. I found the original one really sweet and I just I just didn't like it at all. But the unsweetened one is really, really nice. And yeah, it's, it's a great alternative to milk in your porridge. You can have it in your coffees as well, really nice in coffees. If you drink coffee, I don't drink coffee, but you get the idea. <laughs> Next is a book. I don't actually have it with me because um, it was lent to me by a friend, but it is a book called Disclaimer and it was by Renee Knight. I will link it down below. It is incredible. I read it in a week and I never read books that quickly. It's basically, it's along the same lines as Gone Girl, like it's written in the same kind of way, um, like from the two opinion sort of things jumping backwards and forwards but I actually found this one much easier to follow. I found Gone Girl a bit confusing um, and it took me a while to kind of get into it whereas this book I was hooked from the beginning. It's I would say it's like a thriller mystery sort of book. It's got an amazing amazing twist in it um, at the end and if you're obsessed with like thriller books like I am, I highly recommend it. Like I said, I will link it below. If I can read it in a week, you can read it in two days, like seriously. I'm a slow reader, so I did amazing with this book and it just shows that it's good if I can read it in a week. And lastly is a YouTuber that I've been obsessed with this month. She does weekly vlogs. It's Alice Snell, I will link her down below. She has a beauty lifestyle kind of channel and then she has started to do weekly vlogs and I've been obsessed with her weekly weekly vlogs. She's a really, really sweet girl, really easy to watch. Yeah, I've just been really enjoying them. Every Monday she puts out a vlog. I think it's every Wednesday she puts out a beauty video. 
don't quote me on that, I think it's every Wednesday, but she's so consistent, like she never misses, it's amazing, unlike myself, where I'm really bad and I do miss videos. Uh, <laughs> I try not to. Um, but yeah, I've been really enjoying her recently. So I will link her links and everything all down below so you can go and subscribe to her channel because I really think you should, especially if you're into weekly vlogs like I am, you will you will love her. And that is my June favourites, random as always. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thumbs up the video if you have. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. I really, really, really want to reach a thousand subscribers for my birthday and we have pretty much a month to then. So subscribe if you're new so you don't miss another video. What shall be my question of the week? Tell me something that's new in your life this month. So it could be a person, it could be a makeup brand, it could be food, it could be anything, but something new that has come into your life this month. Let me know in the comments what it is. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!